Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So we all have a light and a dark side. The game is to keep the dark side in check. That can be really hard for some of us, especially for people that have gone through trauma, people that have depression, people that have anxiety, people that have anger issues. You feel like that there's this demon living inside of you, that you have like this Jekyll and Hyde personality. You know, you really have to learn to just accept the fact that you have this other side to you. And to learn how to tame that beast. I preach a mind, body, and soul program on almost all my videos for a reason because that's what's helped me, that's what's saved me in so many different areas. But it's really hard to just keep control of your inner demons. You know, I had a guy talk to me the other day about this issue. He was talking about how sometimes it's just really hard for him to squash those inner voices, that, that dark force that's inside of you. It kind of feels like, like Darth Vader sometimes inside, you know, not literally, but metaphorically, where he's got this, this dark side to him. And he really was ashamed of that side and really wished that he could just be the other side of him all the time, which was a much more happy, calm, productive person. He was finding it, telling me how he was just kind of finding it hard sometimes to, to keep the fight up and it felt like a fight. I mean, it does for all of us. And you can feel like you're just constantly battling those inner demons. But this is what daily discipline is all about and this is one of the main reasons why we do what we do as far as my body and soul program. It's why I say I stay so regimented with it because it helps me build strength every single day. I can get a little bit stronger, even if it's just incrementally. One of the aspects of living a mind, body and soul program, which is really important to emphasize when it comes to learning how to tame your inner beast is the creative aspect, you know, we, 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 we know about eating right and how eating shit food makes you feel like shit. We know about keeping ourselves strong and working out so we can spend more time at the beach and less time at the doctor's office. We can have uh, easier times as we grow older with our immune system and trying to defeat muscle atrophy, being able to, instead of be some weak little old man, you can be a tough old man. We know about having a spiritual connection, creating connections, relationship connections, having this you know, connection to community, and that all kind of feeds the same thing. We, we don't talk about enough is the creativity. You have to have a creative outlet. That's when you get to let your inner beast, that inner demon, the one that you've been keeping bottled up for all day long so you can get through your work and not punch your boss in the face. So you can uh, drive across town and not have to have road rage experiences. So you can function in the most basic level, not lose it with your kids or your wife or, you know, and you're just trying to maintain every day. You keep that inner wild man, that inner barbarian who just wants to go nuts sometimes. You keep that motherfucker caged up. This is when you can let that one out. This is when you can let the beast out. Find something creative to do and do that shit every single day. At least do it four or five nights a week, five days a week. Find time, schedule it in. Nighttime is a good time. The reason is because we've already gone through our day. We've already had our frustrations, our defeats, our angers. We might be 
trying to unwind between that little window of time that we have before we have to go to sleep and wake up and do it all over again. So you want to really be able to get some of that frustration out. You want to be able to just have a release, let that beast out, let it run like a dog that's been caged. Just let that door open and let that motherfucker go, let it run. Let that inner beast come out and stomp down buildings and be the monster that it wants to be, but find a creative way to release that. So painting, drawing, art, sculpting, computer graphics, photography. Find something creative to do, writing. You know, creative writing. I mean, there's all kinds of ways that you can uh, find hobbies. A creative hobby that just lets those juices flow because that's the best place to really let it go. Music, that's another great one. Music, musicians, painters, writers, those types of people can really pour out that inner energy and enjoy it and be able to utilize, use that bottled up frustration and rage that we all kind of have with our, this animalistic side of us and then this rational side of us because each one of us has that inner caveman, that inner wild man. It's all still there, 30,000, 40,000 years of genetic coding inside of us from our ancestors. It's all still there. And you can't keep that shit bottled up all the time. Every once in a while, you want to let it out. Let it out often, but do it in a productive way. Painters can do this. Musicians do it well. There's all kinds of ways that you can find to do that. And I suggest getting on top of that. You'll be able to go to sleep easier. You'll feel more refreshed when you wake up. And your day can become more of a cycle of starting off in a more powerful position where you're ready to take on the struggle of the day. You're not beaten down from the struggle of yesterday. Yesterday doesn't exist anymore. And you got rid of all yesterday's rage, all yesterday's fear, all of yesterday's resentment, sorrow, misery, pain. You got rid of all of that in your creative hobby that you did towards the end of your day. It's all just food for thought. What is your creative hobby? What do you do to get into that, into the zone, to that flow state of mentality? When you're not thinking about anything going on around you anymore, when the time has kind of just stopped and, and all you're doing is just creating, just letting the, those ideas come out. What is it that you do? I like to write. I found that creative writing has been my thing. I've been writing novels. Now I'm writing a book that's uh, more of a motivational book, self-help book. But I'll be done with that soon and then get back to the novels. And that's really helpful to me. I write crime novels. I'm going to publish them soon and I'm going to start promoting them soon. You guys are going to get real sick of hearing me promote my books. But think about what you uh, could do creatively and do that shit like your life depends upon it. Thanks for watching.